a cut above, heartthrobs, and the unified resistance too, guys. Interesting. Heartthrobs is gonna give me an Aphelios, but it's not gonna give me Heartsteel. It's only really worth taking if you get Heartsteel right off the get-go, so let's reroll this. Then we'll sh let's just go a cut above. A cut above is extremely good here. It's a little bit awkward. Because I have this uh, headliner freaking Evelyn. But she does get attack speed, so I think it's fine. <laughs> it is awkward. I'll give you that. And then I go Infinity Edge, right? For the maximum juicer damage. Let's go, guys. Yeah. I love taking a cut above with Infinity Edge early. Usually, of course, you would want a Corky Headliner or something like that, right? Or a Jinx, an Attack Damage Headliner. But it is what it is, you feel me? It is what it is, guys. I do want double, double this girl, but I don't think I can sell uh, Cannon. I think Cannon is too good. Cannot sell him, and I wanted to play the, uh, the Katarina to get Crowd Diver. So I think this is pretty much what we gotta do. Another Cassante is great, although for now I definitely want to play him. He's just a better unit, of course. Costs more, has to be better. Um, hmm. So again, we, we want to get uh, Super Fan. Her Super Fan item is a Hodge. We have the KDA Headliner, uh, Evelyn, which I really like early game. I think it's one of the better ones for sure. Especially if you have something decent for her. And when I bought her, I had a bow and a sword. And I was hoping I could get a Titans or a Ginsu's or something. She's all about that attack speed she gets. But she's also pretty decent with the burst, with the initial burst when she hits you, see? So it's good to have crit for that. And then the attack speed is gonna make her deal a decent amount of damage with the Death Blade, even though she is an AP unit, so... I did not farm a single gold. This augment isn't really about farming gold anymore, they nerfed that a lot. It's only 25% chance. Per enemy that dies, there's the super fan. The question is, how do we play them? Okay, so the problem is, this fight, I'm actually weaker. I changed sides here because that guy is really strong. He's level 4, I think it's winnable. It's a very strong uh, Yasuo though. He is gonna focus my girl very soon. That is not looking good. She is gonna kill this though, she's getting stunned. Disaster. I changed sides for the other guy. But this guy is extremely strong as well. And for this guy, I have to be on the other side. But you know, you, you can't, can't pick your enemies unfortunately. And we're screwed. We're screwed. We're completely screwed now. I have zero money. I leveled. We went for a risky play. It did not pan out. There's a spatula. Which maybe I might get because of this. That would be nice. That would actually be nice. That would actually be nice. And it's gone. Okay, so we are gonna get a headliner here. So it's good that we leveled as well. Level five, we have a higher chance for a two cost headliner, right? So hopefully we get one. We get the worst one cost headliner. There is not much we can do about that. That is just unlucky. <laughs> that is just unlucky, guys. We had a 70% chance for a green headliner. I'm waiting for my items to spawn again. With Super Fan, you can take away her items. And then they come back afterwards, and then you can equip her like this. And now we just gotta conserve money, right? We gotta sell this girl, unfortunately. I wanna go Last Whisper. And I will go Last Whisper, so I might as well go for it on him. Okay, I feel like she can lifesteal here. She can kill like two more units. She still did not print a single gold coin, which is definitely a little bit on the very low end of RNG here. Yeah, she got a lot of kills, right? 
Oh, she might actually kill this, but her attack speed ran out. I think she's still gonna kill it, though. There's my gold, finally. <laughs> A little bit late there. That's not bad. Caitlyn game? It might be a Caitlyn game, yeah. Might very well be a Caitlyn game or an Ezreal game. <laughs> or might also be a Samira game. Very good items for Samira. Gotta pay attention to the positioning here. I think this positioning is okay, it's just... Nah, this guy... Against this guy, it's not okay. <laughs> but they're gonna loop around, right? So they're gonna be tanking. I think she's gonna be tanking next. Oh, nice! Good job, Olivia. Jumps in, or walks in. And now I can kill some units. Let's go. She's getting stunned so many times. Ooh, good damage. Good damage, honestly. I think Cannon might... Oh, he, she's focusing Cannon. Yeah. Easy win. Easy win, because the girl... is doing enough damage there, the Katarina. Alright, cool! Not too bad, we're, we're kind of back. <laughs> we're kind of back. If we win... We keep winning a little bit longer, we're back. I think now it's worth selling her to get a new headliner. Because at this point, she's gonna get outscaled really hard. And I can buy this guy as well, which is gonna be crazy good. And I can sell this, I can play this, I can play this. And then I never really need this. I don't need this anymore. can even just run this Twitch. Hopefully we do get a two-cost headliner. That would be very nice. A two-cost, like an Aphelios, it's GG, man. That, that would be a little bit too lucky. <laughs> but I'll take it, man. I want to keep these guys. I have tank items. That's okay. Nice. There we go, guys. That is beautiful. Wow. That's too lucky, man. It's worth playing her. I think I'll go double death blade. I'll just go last whisper on Ari. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll ditch Ari, right? She's just there to apply the last whisper for her. You don't need to put the last whisper on this girl. Double death blade is gonna do a ton of damage. I cannot make 10. I cannot make 10. Oh yeah, let's see. We don't want to play around super fans the entire game, but we can do it mid-game here. It's completely fine. It's not too bad. Why not Deathblade on another unit for more gold chance? Um, that I honestly did not think about at all. So it's a good thing that you say that. Because I, I think a lot of people would have that question. Let me just think about this. Twin Terror. Twin Terror is cool. Oh, cybernetic Bulk is too OP, right? Can't say no to that, guys. Twin Terror. Twin Terror with these items. Twin Terror Caitlyn. Should be insane, right? Uh, well deserved, guys. Uh, so, back to the question about the freaking Deathblade thing. Um, even though I didn't think about it. So I didn't make that decision because of what I'm about to say, but I would not make a different decision. I would still do the same. Because this just does so much more damage on this girl uh, than the last Whisper. And this is only a 20% chance. It's not even 25, it's 20 actually. That's really low. Question is, can I get to double Caitlyn? Double Caitlyn? I mean, I can. I can, though. I literally can, yeah. I literally can get to Caitlyn. Also, not using Twin Terror right now is just really cringe. 
I gotta somehow use Twin Terror. Like, I picked the Augment, it's gonna be very strong late game. But right now, it's not doing anything. So that's that's a huge fail. I'm level 640 gold. I can still go level 8 at 4-1. Until then, I can't do much. I just need to get lucky and find, like, a... Because right now, it's doing nothing, right? Twin Terror, if you play the same unit twice, you get bonus stats on it. 35% uh, attack speed, 35% critical strike chance, and 350 health. So if I get six Caitlyn's, which you might think is very crazy, it is. But if we somehow can do it, this guy gets a level six Ezreal, right? Has Hearthrobs and found a spatula, a Hearthsteel spatula. This is this is an easy win for him. We are gonna be happy with a second place. That's just how the game goes. I can play double Twitch, but it's just weaker than the headliner girl. So what I want now is I want Caitlyn items. I have a Death Blade. I want I want the Infinity Edge, and I don't necessarily want Last Whisper on her. I will take this, and I will go for a Hodge. I believe I will go Hodge, and I will go Last Whisper on the second Caitlyn and put her next to it, on the non-headliner Caitlyn. That's what we'll do. And we found an Ezreal as well. Uh, we found a freaking dude as well, which isn't bad. Uh, we found a freaking Zed, excuse me. I could play double Nar, but it really won't do much, so I'm not gonna level here. I need all the money I can get to find Caitlyn. But again, it's not that hard, guys. Like, we just need two Caitlyns. So I, all I need to find is, an he is a headliner Caitlyn. That's all we need. It's really not that big of a deal, I would say. So I think it's fine to take this augment here. I, I, it's very dank. It's very dank. I heard the stats if you play it with Caitlyn together. I was watching a challenger stream. And they were saying that if you play this with Caitlyn together, it, the, the stats just go through the roof. But only Caitlyn. Well, Caitlyn and Samira. Samira is always strong with this, but everyone knows that. But nobody, nobody talks about this augment being good with Caitlyn. And I have the perfect items for it. You always want Infinity Edge with this augment. You should only take this augment if you're planning to build an Infinity Edge or you already have one. Because of course then uh, it will... The 35% critical strike chance becomes very, very efficient, right? So which headliner Caitlyn do I want? I would like the rapid fire Caitlyn, right? But 8-bit is also fine. Like, whichever one we get, Caitlyn is not a big deal. You just play the other thing, you know? If you get a headliner um, rapid fire Caitlyn, you gotta play an 8-bit unit. You probably just play a Garen and you play like a, you know, Sentinel Frontline with a Blitzcrank or something. And if you do get this, uh, if you do get 8-bit, you just play, you know, something. Like a Senna. Some rapid fire unit. You gotta get both traits, I think, active. If you have both traits active, it's really good. Why don't you put 8-bit to start stacking? Did I have the option? I feel like I would also make my board weaker, right? I would definitely make my board weaker. That's worth fighting. Because what do, what do you want me to ditch? Can't really ditch anything. And remember, 8-bit stacks up very fast. The first couple tiers stack up really fast. It requires a very low amount of damage. And late game you do a lot of damage, right? Your whole team. That's really good. Swords are really good. Oh, I can go for an 8-bit spatula. Or for a true damage spatula as well. I could also go true damage Akali. Whichever one we find, right? Alright, next turn we just roll. And whichever one we find, we play. And we're chilling. Then I have a Ginsu's or something. Redemption, okay. Uh, is it always redemption? I think it's always redemption. I think it's always redemption. It could also be true damage Caitlyn. True damage Caitlyn is good. True damage Caitlyn is very good. But the second Caitlyn then, right? Ah, true damage Caitlyn. I 
I should sell these to not get dizzy. Ah, I don't really need the spatula here. Unless I play full 8-bit, but I can't. Curse Crown is very good, it's just... Okay, I definitely don't want this. Edge Fund. What the Forge is so risky, I have really good items. Nah, that's so risky. Curse Crown is so risky too. It's good with this Augment. It's just very risky if I don't hit. Prismatic Ticket could be good here, honestly. Because I have a lot of combat power, right? I already have double... Uh, I don't want this guy. I want this. I need to not get dizzy here. I'll buy this guy. He could be good. Oh. I have this Hodge on this idiot as well. Zed. I don't think we're playing Zed. Gotta replace this idiot. We have a Hodge. I think we just itemize the second Akali, right? I think it has to be redemption. We itemize the second Akali. And we play. Do we really play double Caitlyn? I think it's good though. I think it's good. We have three true damage. We want to play four true damage. We want echo. We want echo. We don't need more Senas, do we? We're playing Senna already, no? No, we're not. We need to play Senna, yeah. We need Senna. I don't know if we want Super Fan. We need Akali items here. Cannot be bad. <clears throat> okay, hold up, hold up. Let me just think. I could also go Giant Slayer on her. It's good. It's very good. She's gonna do a ton of damage. Oh, but she doesn't have Infinity Edge now. I know what to do. I know what to do. She has Executioner, so she doesn't need Infinity Edge. And then we go Infinity Edge on her. By doing this. Then we want to play Senna. Alright, looking good. Looking strong. There's an Echo. We have six Akalis. Looking strong, guys. Looking strong. We need a second uh, second girl. Don't think we need this guy ever. We need a second Caitlyn. We need a second Caitlyn. A second Caitlyn. And then we need to figure out our front line. Because our front line right now is a piece of garbage. We should go him instead of him. And then slowly but surely get rid of these super fans. And I think four... Four uh, juicers is enough. Four juicers is enough for a uh, super fan. I might get three star Akali, guys. Four super, four, four, um, not super fan. Four true damage is enough, right? Six true damage is a very, very low 
front line then. I just need to get rid of... Uh, like, I need a two-star Blitzcrank. I think the Ilawi is good, but not that good. Also, this guy has six Aries. Eh, yeah, six Aries. Which is very good, because it en enables me to get Akali 3, maybe. But I need to find more... Ak like, I, I feel like... I feel like it's contested, right? Zero Akalis. Zero Akalis. Zero, of course. Zero Akalis. This guy, neither. Neither this guy. Okay, that's crazy. No one has an Akali. So we can actually hit. We have golden ticket. Or prismatic ticket, excuse me. They renamed it. Prismatic ticket. Woo! Exciting, guys. Exciting. Red buff. Red buff for heal reduction on the second Caitlyn. Or on the Akali. Gunblade. Probably Gunblade, right, with these items. Oh, that's a crazy true damage unit. I don't think we can play it, right? We don't have the resources for it. I have to lock this. We don't we don't have the we don't have the board space for it, guys. We don't have the board space. Just gotta buy this guy. Get rid of um, the thing. Get rid of these freaking uh, super fans. I lose the item, but I feel like it's worth. Like my front line was so bad, right? I get super fun, a fan, uh, twin terror on him. Twin terror on him gives him a bunch of bonus health. 350 bonus health. Usually twin terror on tanks is not as good though. I definitely got stronger, I definitely got stronger, don't worry. And I can ditch Lilia for a second Caitlyn. And that's about it, that's our team. I think that's solid. And we can upgrade it by getting a 3-star Akali, by getting another 2-star Caitlyn, and by getting another 2-star Blitzcrank. All of which will be big upgrades. And all of our Caitlyns are doing... Uh, all of our units are doing a ton of damage, as you can see here. Tr tr trio, trio carry. There's the Caitlyn. I really want this Echo. Oh, that's almost 3-star Caitlyn. I'm too off afterwards. I'm too off afterwards. But he has... See, the, this guy has a Akali, right? This guy has one Akali. And Caitlyn is actually easier to find, right? Do you think it's worth pivoting? Probably not. No, 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 it's not worth it. I would get weaker. I would get weaker because of my traits as well. I didn't get the guy, so I'm just gonna roll here. I, like, I don't want to lock for the echo. It's not worth locking, I think. There's another true damage emblem. But obviously, we need to take Akali. Okay, I need one Akali. And this guy doesn't have a single one. This guy has exactly one. Doesn't have one on bench. This guy has zero and this guy has zero. I mean, if we don't hit, it's just gonna be very, very unfortunate. <laughs> it's just very unfortunate if we don't hit here. Come at me. I have 24 health, so I still have one more health point. Okay, let's hope we hit.
The lobby is very strong, unfortunately. Like a really strong lobby, guys. Stupidly strong lobby. Like everyone's level 9. Turbo strong lobby. Ginsu Sona as well. Maybe I can beat this guy. His front line is a little bit on the weaker side, for sure. If my girl does well, yeah, yeah. We're beating this guy. Nice. We get another chance to get the Akali. Just need one more. Which items should I accept? These guys, these ones, right? Infinity Edge and stuff. Death Blade. I mean, I can't get one shot. I can't get one shot, so... I just gotta chill one more turn. I'm against the ghost. Yeah, I definitely want these Akali items, right? Not these ones. Although I heard AP is good on Akali because of her mana replenishment. So she ults with every auto attack or something. Some, something weird, bro. Something weird. But I'm pretty sure I just go full... Like, Bloodthirster as well is... Bloodthirster shield makes her very safe. 39 AP, yeah, for one auto cast. Yeah, but the Bloodthirster shield on a 3-star 4-cost... Seems safer to me, man. I, I can guarantee you... Oh, but they're doing the same amount of damage. But it's because this girl went to the backline and just attacked a bunch of zero resistance units. I know she does really well with Hodge though, yeah. Do I just randomize them? Frick it. Like, I can just randomize them. The only bad item is rapid fire. Well, not rapid, like, you know what I'm saying. You know what I mean. Where's my golden ticket, man? It's not proccing. The golden ticket barely procked. Oh, that is very unlucky. Uh, I think it's just jewel loot, jewel gauntlet on this on this girl. Yes, double double Ari. Double Ari is really scary, bro. You see the guy holding the Akali as well, right? He has an Akali. Yeah, if we can kill him. I don't think we're killing him. Wait, we are. Oh, is he dead? Akali back in the pool? He pings? What is wrong with you, man? Calm down, buddy. Respect my board. I played well. Look at this ghetto board. I mean, I have to buy them, right? I have to just lock. I have to just lock. I have 8 and 8. I have to just lock, right? I, I think I have to lock, bro. I would go for a Kali. Yeah, the, the thing is, I, like, I think I have to lock because I have 24. I can't get one shot. You cannot get one shot at stage 6 with 24. If I, if I lose this, I'm gonna unlock. Well, I finally got a gold again with Deathblade. Huh? Now I got two gold. Is as if I didn't have the augment. She got ulted. This was such an unlucky fight. Did you see that? Okay, I'm unlocking this again. But it randomized into the worst items, no? 
It randomized into the worst items. It randomized into the very worst items possible. And he's pinging me, bro. It randomized into the worst items possible. Isn't that so sad? It randomized into the very worst items. I literally said the only like the only bad one is the is the is the freaking red buff. And we still got like we still got that one without any healing, right? Without any healing. Like if I get any of the if I get any of the gunblade, like even if I get red buff with a gunblade and one of these damage items. Or with, with Hodge and one of these damage items, it's fine. It randomizes into worse ones. But I had to sell my front line. That was really unfortunate. I, I, I think that was a very unlucky game. Like, we, we also lost that fight by a hair, right? By a literal hair. Like, we lost... My, my Caitlyn was about to ult. And the, uh, the Ezreal just kills her right before she kills him. We'll still take it, though. Still a good game. I think we cooked really well, guys. With some exotic augment combination. And um, we only lost really to cookie cutter builds like any reroll and just a generic fast nine board with double Ginsu Sona that we see every game, right? We're losing to S tier boards with something that we cooked up. We'll take it, guys. That's always fun. Subscribe, ring Haitian bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the YouTube algorithm so I can get some more views. And I'll see you next time. Peace.